they are situations no one wants to be in a potential threat forces to some, someone to calm a situ situation down or fight back. The Family Crisis Center hosted special training at the Pitzer Garrison Convention Center in Lufkin. It focused on de-escalation and other responses. K. Teresha Kina Davis shares what experts are advising. Family Crisis Center of East Texas Executive Director Whitney Baran says strategic tactics for optimum protection brings educated professionals together to train the community on situational awareness. To be aware and to have the knowledge in the event of something um, happens that we have all the tools and resources um, to respond to these situations. Owner of Shoot Perfect East Texas and presents her for the de-escalation training Luke Tarbutton says it's important to be self-aware of certain situations and threats. Being able to see the threat before the threat actually becomes a physical one towards you, being able to de-escalate that threat if possible without using physical force or knowing when physical force is necessary to be able to end that threat. Tarbutton says the world today sees more escalated threats every day. As we get more immersed in a violent culture and as our culture gets more and more violently progressive, we see it more happening and pushing into the rural areas, more happening and pushing out away from major cities into areas such as ours. He says the citizens of East Texas and their safety is their main concern. If we can figure out a way to cross the barrier between this classroom and the mindset of it can't happen to me, then we really should see a very high escalation in training for the threats. Tar Button says it can happen at any point, any time, and anywhere. Watch people's hands, watch people's waistlines, look for guns, look for somebody that that is in the corners watching people coming in and out. Shakina Davis, KTRE, East Texas News 9. To learn more about strategic tactics for optimal protection, you can click on the big red box to this story on our KTRE.com website.